Yeah! Hold up. That was trash. Yeah! <laughs> What's good YouTube man, welcome back to the channel. Before we get up into it, make sure you like this video. Make sure, hey, yeah, I'm talking to you. Yes sir, the last video I posted, you didn't even like the video, I synced that. I synced it. I'm gonna need you to like this video this time, my guy. Welcome back to the channel, man. Before we get up into it, make sure you also follow me on Instagram because I see it all the time. If I'm not posting on here, I'm posting on there. And also make sure you turn on post notifications. I gotta tell y'all this story time, man. Y'all like the story times. Y'all rock with the story times, man. Um, this story time is really the biggest L that I've ever taken. Um, we can say that. I mean, it might, it might be the second biggest. Hey, I don't know. You feel me? I mean, when you, you take so many L's, you just, you just be forgetting. You know, and it has to do with this girl. Of course it do. You feel me? Um, and now this girl. Before I really start the story time, I gotta tell you about this girl. This girl, man, she was thick. I'm talking about with two, three Ks. Like, I don't know. It was definitely more than two Ks. It had to be about three, four Ks. She was thick. She was really the thickest girl I ever had. No cap. Like, she was thicker than my mama banana pudding. She was thicker than my grandma grits. Pause. Or no pause. I don't know. It just sounded weird. Like, bruh, when I tell y'all. This was just this was a girl I ain't never had before. So this is really the biggest I've ever took because as you can see, she ain't here no more. We gonna start at how I met this girl, right? I was working at Domino's, right? So you know, I'm in I'm in Domino's, you feel me? I'm on the shift, just doing my thugs. There's a doing whatever job I was supposed to do. I think I was I was bagging up a pizza because I was finna go take a delivery. That's what I was doing. I was finna go take a delivery. And I seen that they needed a, a soda. So I go to the uh, soda refrigerator, whatever, right? And I'm getting a soda. And I hear my friend say something. And so I turn around. I'm like, I'm like, what is, what is he? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you making all that noise for? So I turn around. I'm like, hold up. Now my friend, he looking in this direction. So if I'm, lo I'm looking back, he looking over here. And so I look and I see this girl. But all I see is her face because her body was covered by like, the rest of the stuff that was, you know what I'm saying, that was in Domino's. So, all I seen was her face, and I'm like, I'm like, what is he making all that noise for? You feel me? Like, I'm like, er? I go over to him, I'm like, I'm like, what's up? Like, what you, and he like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he like, like, look, nigga. <laughs> I, I peek my head out, and bruh, I'm like, God. Like, ah. You know when you see a girl and she pull up her jeans and that mug like the mug jiggle like like girls be pulling up their jeans knowing they can't go up no further that's what she did at the same time i peeked around the corner and seen seen what i seen she did that she was really a, a nubian goddess you feel what i'm saying like she was really you know my queen like you feel me like she was that thick and she was dark skinned and she was just pretty you feel me like yeah, her face, her face was, well, also at the time she had on the bonnet too, so um, that really makes a difference when you're looking at a girl, like if they got on the bonnet or not, you know, so that's why I was kind of like, uh, but dang, chill out. So boom, I think she was thick, I think she had cake. Um, I don't know why I was on that, but I was on it. So basically what I do is, I, she, so, so she's ordering food right now, right? She's at the front, she's ordering food, or maybe she's picking up food, I don't know. And one of the girls that I know that worked there, she came in the back to get her food. And I'm like, yo, uh, put me on. You feel me? Like, I don't know why I said that. Because usually I don't really tell people to put me on the girls. Because, I mean, you know how that go. Like, I don't know. Don't ever ask your friend to put you on a girl. Because it's, it's just always awkward, bro. I, I'd rather have you do it yourself. So when I told her that, I don't know why I did. But I was like, hey, put me on. You know, and as I'm... And I, I just walk out the door because I had I had a delivery, right? I get back from my delivery, and the girl that worked there, Domino's girl, hands me a napkin. And a napkin had the girl number on it. I'm like, cap, cap. It had her number and her name. I'm not gonna say her name because she might she might still watch my YouTube channel. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna just say her name was uh. Nubian Queen. Nubian Queen had wrote down her her name and number on a napkin. I thought that only happened in movies. No cap. Like she wrote her name and her number down on a napkin and was like, you know, you might as well put a kiss on it too to have your your lips 
smear it on it too. Hey, let me tell you something. I thought I was that that nigga. You feel me? Like I'm like, dang, I ain't even gotta try. You feel me? Like y'all so stuck on what do I say to this girl? What do what, what? you ain't gotta do nothing? You see, you see what I just did? I just walked past the girl. I ain't even acknowledge her. You feel me? I ain't say hi, none of that. I walked right past her, told my homegirl to put me on. Boom. Uh, I text her. Um, I'm not sure if I texted her right away or if I texted her, you know, because sometimes, I feel like sometimes, man, you can't really be too thirsty. Sometimes, man, you can't really, you know, when you get a girl number, you want to wait some hours. You might want to wait a day. I feel like you don't want to just text her right in the nerd, like, one second after you got the number, like, hey, what's up? So, boom, I text her, like, hey, it's, uh, it's Maurice from Domino's. She knew exactly who I was. And we really just kicked it off from there. You feel me? Um, now let me tell y'all why she gave me the number. I go back to the home to, to home girl that worked at Domino's, and I'm like, you know what happened? She was like, uh, she was like, she basically gassed me up. She was like that, like as I'm walking out the store, she was like, that boy want to get your number, you know? And I, I guess she thought I was cute. I'm not sure what else my home girl said, but hey, whatever she said, gassed me up real good. I appreciate you for that. You know, and I, I need you to pass the baton. That's really what she did. Like, it was like a relay race. She was gone. She was running. And then she was coming up on me. Pause. And she passed the baton. And we ain't failed. We ain't, we ain't dropped the baton. You feel me? But she passed to me. It was it was success. So we gonna fast forward, man. I've been texting, I've been texting her. You feel me? And now it comes to the first day that we hang out. So the first day we hang out, um, I think I was at school at the time. And uh, I don't know, like I think it was it was about that time. You feel me? Like I I I like you. You like me in a sense that I think you're attractive. I think you're cute. She thinks I'm cute. You feel me? Um, let's hang out. So I don't know. Like she wanted me to come over to her house, um, and I did. Uh, pretty weird, considering like you know it's the first time I'm meeting you. You know she still stay with her her parents. So uh, I don't know. I mean I ain't tripping. You know so. I go over her house, you know, it was cool. I met her moms, she was cool. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we, we kicked it off, man. She was uh, she was playing, I think she was playing like GTA or something. She was playing some game. And I'm like, you play video games? So right there, it was already a connection because I play video games too. So it was like, you, you cool, bruh. You hella cool. That was that was really the first, the first time I seen her. Or the second time, the first date, I guess, was me just going over her house. We just talked, you feel me, got a vibe. And that was really it. So, boom. We have established there that we are going to be talking. You feel me? We're going to be talking. Um, you know, yeah, we're going to be dating. This is the talking stage. Um, so, during the talking stage, I mean, during the talking stage, it's like, y'all yeah, really got to come together in terms of what one can do and what, what one can't do. You feel me? So, just talking about our exes, just talking about you know, how did you break up with your ex? Woo, woo, woo. Come to find out, she recently broke up with her ex. You feel me? So, some, something like that is a warning sign for me. I don't really date girls that just broke up with their ex because my first girlfriend, that was a situation. And I was really just being used in that situation. So, I kind of just dodge girls that just got out of a relationship because I'm not trying to be use i'm not trying to be your rebound that's exactly what you're using me for is a rebound um you can't say you can't say that ain't true i know it's true because no that's true i'm helping you get over your ex so boom that was one that was one of the things that i didn't like and then also she she smoked and she was and she was a drinker um i didn't like that i mean i don't care if you smoke if you're a girl it's just that I don't want to pick you up every time and then you be high or you be drunk. And that was like most of the times when I picked her up, she was like, she was gone. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like, like them times where like it was a late night, you know, I'm finna go pick you up. Maybe she want to come over. A lot of them times she was just fried or she was, and it's like, I don't like that because if I'm trying to communicate with you, you can't really communicate back with me. You feel me? Like, I know it ain't the same, bro. It's not the same for me when you sober, bro. It's just not. I don't care how many times you smoke. Ooh, I can tell the difference because I don't smoke. You feel me? And I know when you sober. So it's like I could tell if you gone or just something, something off. So that was really another thing that I didn't like. It's getting hot. It's getting hot. But it's all good. I got this. I got this.
Writes down these windows. Hold on. Yeah, like I said, we was both attracted to each other, man. So you know what comes with that. I can't say nothing, but I can do this. You feel me? If you want to see more, you need to go to Tasty Blacks. We both attracted to each other, man. So one day, right, she come over to my house, right? And we watch a movie. Now, we don't watch the movie in my room, but we watch it in the living room. I don't know why I chose the living room. I, I think I was just like, man, I just want to, you know, I just want to, I guess, show her that I'm not really on that. You feel me? Um, and so I go in the living room, and uh, it's me, her, and my little brother. We're in the living room watching the movie. And so, I kind of give her a space on the couch. I give her a whole lot of space. We're not really close. I'm more closer to my little brother, space-wise, than I am to her, right? And so, I'm chilling, watching a movie. I just feel an attitude coming from that direction, where she from. And so, I'm like, like, I forgot what she said. I'm like, you need to chill. And so, I take her to my room. And I'm like, what's the problem? Like, what's going on? She was basically mad because I wasn't giving her attention. I'm like, we watching a movie. Man, let me tell y'all something, bro. This girl pushed me, right? She pushed me on my bed, laid me down. She got on top of me. I will always remember this, bro. She got on top of me. When I tell you that, that peach was boy, she laid, she laid me down, got on top of me like this. We start making out a little bit. I'm grabbing on that peach. Man, when I tell you that mug was soft. The softest peach I ever felt, bruh. And I know my peaches. Man. Bruh. I could have. I, 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 I really could have, you know, oh, right then and there. I really could have. So right there, you know, I'm like, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I will give you attention. All right. So we go back, we go back to the living room, you know, and, you know, I... I was, yeah, I was doing my thing. So we got that instance, right? So from there, I knew that she she wanted me. You know what I'm saying? I knew that she wanted that, hmm. You did what I'm saying, little Maurice, you feel me? <laughs> I knew that she wanted to get it on. Uh, and we talked about it, man. And uh, so boom, it was, it was another time, man, where uh, I'm like, okay. I'm like, well, okay, here's my thing, right? So my process was I want to kill it. I want to do my thing because, like I said, this is the thickest girl I've ever had. I want I want to do my thug thizzle. And so, at the time, I was still with my parents. I didn't want to do it. And don't get it twisted. I, I done clapped some cheeks in my, in my room a whole bunch of times next to my parents. You feel me? Like, But with this, I just wanted to kill it. So, I was thinking, I got to get a hotel. So, I was really waiting to get a hotel for me to do my thing. You feel me? So, it was... And she was really getting on my head because she kind of felt like... I didn't want her, you feel me? But it wasn't that, I just, I just, you know, I just want to do it right, you feel me? It was one day, man, she was looking good. I ain't gonna cap to y'all, man. She had on this, like, this skirt, dress thing, I don't know. She was looking good, you feel me? Thighs was soft, man. We, we, got, we got into it one time uh, in my room. It was steamy, man. And this time I had, I had C's. I don't want to say the word just in case you two be tripping. But I got, I had, I had C's, right? And so, boom, like, we, we getting steamy. You feel me? I, I don't want to get into too much detail. What is, hey. Um, and I pull out the C, and she was like, she can't do it because she is allergic to C's. Um, which makes sense, because C's, that's latex. She was allergic to latex, all right? And so, uh, yeah. Now, any dude probably would be like, I right, bet, let's do it raw. You can't fool me. I know you would, bro. You can't trick me. Um, but me being smart, I was like, you know, all right, bet. Um, so we didn't we didn't do it that night in my room, which is good because I said I didn't want to do it in my room. I wanted to do it in the hotel so I could do my thing. Boom. One day I go to the store. I buy what I need. You feel me? I get the hotel. I, I eventually get the hotel. Boom, right? So mind you, I didn't give it to her that night. Y'all remember that, right? I did not give it to her, right? Boom. She thought I was playing. All right, so we get to the hotel, boom. She knows she know why I got the hotel. She knows why, right? And so, boom, get to the hotel, boom, boom. I'm doing my thing. I'm doing my thug thizzle. I was ready. I had the protection. Now, this protection, it didn't have no latex in it. Let me tell y'all something. I, I'm pretty sure this is this is right information. I don't know. You can look it up if you don't believe me. Um, I think it's like, if it's, if it's not latex, you can still get uh, 
uh, uh, ST, I don't want to say it just because YouTube, hey, I know YouTube be tripping. Uh, you can still get that. So latex is the thing that protects you from getting that. This girl was playing. I was ready. You know, I'm making out, woo, woo. She telling me, she she was telling me no. I didn't understand. I'm like, what, 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 you, what you mean no? Like, all them times you tried to do it with me, yes, I said no. But this is the reason why, because I wanted to kill it here. You feel me? And she wasn't trying to give it up. So, oh, she asked, she was like, let's get in the shower. I didn't want to get in the shower. Uh, hold on, yeah, my camera in front of that. Let me, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so I didn't want to get in the shower. I didn't want to get in the shower because, I don't know, bruh. I, I, I don't want to sound weird, but I just don't like, like, I just, like, why? Can I just kill it right here on the bed? Why do we have to hop in the shower? She wouldn't do, she wouldn't do the most. I don't want to do that. I'm already here in the bed. Why I need to get to the shower for? You feel me? Like, and so I was like, nah, like, let's just go ahead and do that mug right here. And, um, yeah, she didn't let me. Um, boom, we wake up in the morning. You know, now she want to give it to me. I guess she, she, I guess she see that I got an attitude. <laughs> and so she trying to give it to me. And guess what I did? I told her ass, no. I told her no. I'm like, nah. My thing is, bruh, you had a chance last night to do your thug fizzle. And you didn't for whatever reason. But now in the morning you want to do it? I'm like, nah. Nope. Nope. And the reason I said that, bruh, I understand any dude probably would have did it, bruh. At the time, I was thinking, bruh, everybody don't deserve this D. And that's true to this day. That's true for you, too. Everybody don't deserve your D, bruh. Some girls don't deserve it. That girl did not deserve it, bruh. The weight, the weight, like, bruh, I did all that. Got the hotel, woo, woo. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I paid for it. She didn't pay no money for it. And you knew why, you knew why I was getting it. Boom. Uh, you know, that happened. Uh, I guess we both got attitudes because we both didn't get what we want. Um, but it's all could have been, this all could have been fixed if you would have gave me. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, no, I don't really blame me for not finishing. Um, cause as I said, like she said, she was allergic to latex. You feel me? So either she wanted to do it raw, or you feel me? Like you feel me? Like I could have been, I could have been a dad. Cause you know, with 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 a thick girl, I'm pfft, boy. You feel me? Like if you if you expect me to pull out, pulling out is so hard, bro. And you want me to? Oh, boy, you funny. I could have been a dad, and I could have had some disease. So at the end of the day, bro, I'm glad I didn't do it. Yes, it was an L on my part, but like I said, I'm glad. I, I I'm glad I still didn't do it. I say to finish, so you don't always have to reflect on the situation. Like, dang, I could have, I could have did da 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 da. That's why I feel like man, you should do what you want. You feel me? Um, you know, and and I don't know. Just yeah, just always finish. That's gonna be the end of the story time, man. Yeah, I'm hot. Uh, I got a jet. <laughs> I see y'all next time huh, with a whole other video. Deuces.